Hi, this is a short demonstration video for how to use a video studio. Once you log in into video studio, you will see uh, your workspace like this way. Uh, from the top, you will see your recent project list and uh, there are several categorized templates, promotion, memorial, narrative style, greeting, YouTube videos. So I'll give you one as an example. Three Michelin starred restaurants in Seoul. Rayon vs. Gaon. Recently, the world famous Michelin Guide Seoul 2021 event was held. Due to so if you want to start with this template, what you need to do is uh, click this button. Then you will see editor page with a uh, lot of slides. So simply you can edit the background image by simple drag and drop. I will drag and drop this image here. You see that the image is replaced. And uh, also you can change text here. And if you want to duplicate more text elements, Ctrl C and V or Ctrl D makes you have more layers. And uh, you can you can place it easily with uh, this you know easy layout button. You can make it like this way. This is the simple demonstration how you can start your work from template. For now, I'd like to give you a sample from scratch. Then let's start from scratch. Actually, I prepare short messages to show you how I make a video. So let's start start with the script. First is a uh, welcome you all. Oh, before that, I'd like to add some background video clip here. So at the uh, you know video tab. You can find something by typing relevant keyword here. For now, I'd like to type pattern and you will get some useful, you know, background images. So for now, I uh, will pick this one as a background. Then I copy this text line once more. And uh, for the case of font, um, you can tie anything what you want. But uh, this time, I'd like to go with uh, Noro Sans, which I think a very basic font. And I paste this first message. Um, you can change the color at this right side panel. So uh, we'll make it to black. This is the first slide. Then you will see that the slide duration is uh, 1.4 seconds. This is uh, automatically decided um, based on the length of the text. You know, this is uh, you know duration based is set to narration. Also, you can make it manual. So you know, then you have a full controllability of the slide timing. For now, I need a you know, set narration. Uh, there are two ways to send narration. First is a uh, voiceover. Mm, it means that you can upload your own voice MP3 file. And uh, for this time, I'd like to go with the uh, TTS AI voice. So when you click the actor, so you will see a lot of voices here. And then we also integrate several TTS engines like Google Webname, Amazon, Poly and any others. One of our users said, you know, Video Studio is like a, only one platform which has a very wide range of languages. Uh, for now, we are making a uh, content in English. So I will pick English. And then, you know, when you hover your mouse. Hello, I'm Sophia. This is my voice. I hope you find it. Hello, I'm Anna. This is my voice. I hope you. You can hear the preview like this way. So this time. Hello, I'm James. This is my voice. Okay, let's go with the James. Then, you know, the time is a little bit changed, you know, based on the length of the voice. So when you click the space button or preview button. Welcome you all. You hear the voice like this way. Then uh, we'll control C and V one more slide. 
then it's time to paste second line here, control C and control V. You know, the layer is replaced. And then you can make it smaller, you know, to fit into the slide. Then you know, I wanna highlight some words here. There is a text color button. So you pick some color from the recent color. And when you click the color panel, the, there is a four tabs, recent colors and the favorite color, and custom colors, the stock library. Um, if you like some color, you click the set button and then you can add it to your favorite menus as well. Also, you can add your uh, you know, custom color based on the uh, this hex code, like this way. Oh, here is one more thing. You know, when you drag, you will see that you can select the background, the the video clip. I mean, so to prevent to select this one as accidentally, select to slide with your shift key. Then, you know, you can lock this background layer. Then select only this text layer. Then I copy and paste one more slide and delete this one. Before to get third line, um, I'd like to uh, show you how I make a short animation here. I'd like to try some carousel animations with a bunch of um, you know video thumbnails. I will show you how I can do that. So in default mode, it has a can burn effect. So I will make it cover and uh, make it smaller and place the center. And uh, I will add several images here. So make it cover, make it smaller. And uh, place the right side like this way. Also, I added one more and turn into cover mode. Then make it smaller. Then I place it like this way. Um, I'm trying to, to uh, make it a carousel animation here. So I need to use a lot of slides. First, I'd like to uh, set the slide duration to manual and then turn it to 0.5 seconds per each slide. Then I will copy and paste this one. Then I try to like move each images to left. So I mean, I move it to left and uh, make it smaller. And move it to left and to make it center, make it a bit bigger, like this way. I need to add one more images here. So I get one more images and uh, also make it smaller. For now, I wanna do it a bit different way. There is another way for this. You know, I just uh, set the uh, image layout and drag and drop same images from this library like this way. Did you see that? And then I will copy and paste this one, copy and paste this one. And what about the last one? Um, I'm gonna use uh, like this one, like this way. Why don't we try it once more? I control C and V. And uh, for now, like this way, this way, make it center. And uh, I will try with, uh, you know, just logo. Then I will show you the preview. You now you hold your shift key and uh, click multiple slides and click preview. Like this way. I will make the last slide, you know, moving once more as a last, and then make it center, make it a little bit bigger, like this way. And I will show you the partial preview once more. I think uh, it's time to we add a third line. So you can copy this slide and then move move it, you know, back like this, then copy this slide, paste it. This time I will make it a bit differently. You know, I delete this video to part, then 
I will add uh, you know, logo images here and make it smaller and uh, adjust a little bit. Then, um, then I will you know, put them in center like this way. Then you understand that you know the TTS only read the full of possibility in, right? So when you click this narration button, there is an auto update menu. Disenable it, and then you will see the text here. So we can add videos too, like this way. Oh, also I'd like to tell you about the transition effect here. So every slides are now set as an auto transition, which is a default mode. Once you click this one, you will see a lot of transition types here. Since we use uh, After Effect engine as a rendering, so you can get those kind of you know dynamic animations. So for now, I will set this one as a transition. I will add one more slide as a last. I will put this one in the center, make it bigger, and then. What's the last line? Cooking of the text video and video too. So I copy this text layer once more and then you know, paste the text line here. And uh, I'd like to make it smaller and the place in center and to change the color like this way. And I wanna you know add this kind of vector images. Oh, the you know, this pan needs to be a uh, back. So you click this that button. You can make it send it to back or backwards, something like that. But if I make you know click the send to back, you realize that you know, there is a background layer. So you can adjust the layer order like this way. Drag and drop. Clear. Um. Also, you can set a uh, animation on each element. So like uh, you know, you can add an animation on this text. You know, click this text layer and uh, click this animation button. You will see a lot of text animations, like glitch effect, this kind of style, everything. Or like uh, typewriting, this kind of things. So click, then you will see uh, the effect after you finish your rendering. So I will set the animation here to uh, make it like stretch up. Oh, also in the case of transition, you know, I made it to uh, you know last one. So I will make it to auto once more. Then you check the differences with the this. Okay, that's all. So when you think you're done, so you can click this download button. You can export MP4 file and the PNG as well. So when rendering is completed, you get this icon. So when you click, you can download your MP4 file with the uh, you know full transition animations what you set. So I will give you the welcome you all. What video do you want to create? Full of possibility in video stew. Cooking up the tasty video treats on video stew. Yeah, that's all. Do you like it? For now, I hope you enjoy using video stew. And uh, if you have any question, there is a help button. So you can mail us directly. So this is the way you can connect with us. And, uh, you know, in this video comment, I will share some useful URLs like uh, those five sample videos and uh, what else um the public roadmap which you can give us a uh, feature request and the uh, email address and uh, you know a short tutorial video and the quick manual download link okay thanks for watching this video until the end please contact us anytime if you have any suggestion feature request anything or feedback even positive negative anything is okay please enjoy videos too thank you